Hi there, what's up you guys? It's Bernie here. And in this video, you're going to learn everything about the first orchestrated private cloud that is so simple that anyone can use it. And that thing is the Ansel Private Cloud 2.0. I'm really excited to announce it. The Ansel Private Cloud is a full-fledged private cloud system that is so easy to use that you know you can get started right away. You can start small and then grow. There's no three-node minimum or tens of thousands of dollars minimum. You can literally get started as small as you want and then grow as you go. There's no enterprise -y hassles. There is no VTAX. Um, we have our own hypervisor that is license free. It's based on KVM. We also support bare metal containers, but there's no VTAX. Our solution is simple. It's really simple. And if you want to know how simple, watch out for the second video of this little sequence. It's just a series of three little videos. And the second one will show you how simple and easy it really is. So this whole thing, is a big transformation. Ansel Private Cloud 1.0 was all about cloud in a box. And now with the Ansel Private Cloud 2.0, we've listened to our customers and we've gone that way to have an orchestrated solution that can work in clusters, that has automated backups to the cloud, that has an open API compatible API so that it can be orchestrated by Terraform, so all these things make the Ansel Private Cloud suddenly a part of the whole world and make it, make it um, work in clusters and multi-nodes and all these type of things. So do you think that's the right way to go for Ansel? Was that, or would you have wished for a different definition of Ansel Private Cloud 2.0? Let us know in the comments down below. And I promise each and every comment I will reply to personally. A little bit about myself, I'm Bernie Bloom, founder and CEO of Ansel, and um, well, Ansel is the pioneer in private cloud computing. Um, we started out just a few years ago, uh, shipped the first unit in 2016, and uh, today we have over 3,000 customers. That's insane. I never thought that in just a few years we're, we are at 3,000 customers for our for our private cloud. So that's great stuff and thanks everyone that has supported our movement so far. We also have a turnkey solution. Um, it's based on our really cool signature silent server, the Ansel One XD. Check it out on our website, it's really cool stuff. And with that, it's even easier to get started because you have everything in one, is that cloud in a box idea but now with 2.0, you can cluster it, you can talk to the rest of the world way more easily than you ever could before. Why did we go that direction? Why did we come up with multi-node capabilities and clustering capabilities? Well, it's relatively simple. Um, you need some sort of redundancy. Um, if one of your nodes fail, one of your, your servers fail, you want to have another one that stands by and can, can take over. Also, you need multi-node just to scale. So if you have more load than, than one server can handle, of course, you want to grow your cluster and do some scaling and auto-scaling and even do some burst to cloud. There is also another capability coming really soon as part of the Ansel Private Cloud 2.0. It's not coming out the first day, so we're launching the Ansel Private Cloud in just a few days after the third of this little sequence of videos. So I'm really excited 2.0 is coming and it's not taking a long time. Um, what's coming a little bit after that is what makes clustering even more exciting and that is software defined storage. And to understand that, I give you a brief history of computing. So we started out with every server had their direct attached storage and that was all a complete siloed world. After that, we had converged infrastructure many servers and they could all access one big storage system. It was called a SAN and those SANs were physical devices that cost you a fortune and an arm and a leg. Did you hear that? Usually it's like a fortune or an arm and a leg, but I said a fortune and an arm and a leg. It was not funny. Okay. And then with hyperconverged infrastructure, which is a really new development in computing, 
we use um, commodity hardware, right? Commodity servers with their direct attached storage, but then those are connected by 10 gig ethernet or faster. And then with our software, that's part of Ansel Private Cloud 2.0, we connect these, all this direct, atta direct attached storage so that it looks like one of those shared storage devices. So each one can access any data. So that's what makes the failover, for example, possible, right? If one of your, your nodes fail, they can use the data of the other one. So that is super cool stuff. It's gonna come out soon and we've hired some really great talent and, and added them to our team. Open API, um, it's gonna be there at launch day. Um, our API is 100% complete. You can control everything of the Answer Private Cloud and the API is now compatible with the Open API standard, which enables you to, for example, orchestrate the Answer Private Cloud using Terraform or things like that, which is really exciting stuff. Backups, we have automated backups to the cloud and we made it really simple. It's basically just that little check mark here. And if you want that antlet, that instance being backed up, you just hit that check mark and it's automatically and periodically being backed up to the cloud and you can obviously restore it and everything. So that being said, that's our direction. That's where we're going with Answer Private Cloud 2.0 to get you into that orchestrated world. And let us know in the comments down below if you think that's the right direction. And if you don't think it's the right direction, tell us why. Um, we are always excited to, to learn what you think. And um, you're going to see case studies in the second video. Um, so I'm going to show you with real customers why they chose Answer Private Cloud 2.0 and what benefits they're gaining from these features. Objections. Um, there's a few questions I, I often hear. Uh, one of them is, are there any hidden fees? So the answer is obviously no. We even have a free version um, for personal use and for business use. It's just three plans. Check them out on our website. It's really simple. It starts at $29 a month, so it's really affordable. Next question, are we really hardware agnostic? Yes, we are. So our software is our main asset, and we'd love if you use our software. Um, we do have our own hardware to just to make things even easier. And we even custom compile everything for that specific instruction set that our processor has which we cannot do if we run on your hardware. But that we just cannot custom compile it since we don't know the exact model of the processor that you're using. So if you use the Ansel hardware, you have like an additional speed advantage of like 15% because we custom compile everything. But otherwise, we support any other hardware just, as, just the same way we do our own. So if you have your Dell or HP or Supermicro hardware, we can absolutely go with that and support it um, 100%. Next question, are bare metal containers really that fast? Well, bare metal containers are blazing fast. So it is really cool stuff and I definitely recommend running all your Linux workloads in bare metal containers. And you cannot do that with many of the other platforms. You have to run your containers inside VMs. Our bare metal containers run bare metal side by side with the VMs, which is really cool stuff. The only limitation is if you run anything non-Linux, so your Windows workloads, your FreeBSD workloads, they work awesome in an Ansel, but they cannot run in bare metal containers. So you got to use VMs for these. Next question would be interoperability. Um, do we work together with legacy systems like VMware or something, Hyper-V? Um, yes, we do. So it's, we made it really simple to import your VMDK files from VMware or from Hyper-V or whatever. And um, there's one cool thing. We don't even need to convert these files into our native format. We could do it, um, but if you need like a quick failover from your VMware system, we can run your VMDKs directly without having to convert them. Um, which saves a lot of time, and it's actually really, really cool stuff to see your VMDKs running in, in the Answer Private Cloud without a single change. Um, 
Okay, next question would be, many people ask me, hey Bernie, what can we do to support our, our cause and, and, and support our movement? And the answer is simple, smash <laughs> that like button. So that like button really helps the YouTube algorithm. It pushes that, that video in front of more people and it automatically helps our, helps our movement. And um, so please do it. You will really greatly help us out. Also subscribe, obviously, and hit the bell notification so that YouTube notifies you when new videos are uploaded. The next question is, is it really that simple? And well, all I can say, yeah, it's that simple. And you will see that in video two and three. Video three will give you the real ownership experience. You will see some screencasts. Um, and, and actually, the Answer Private Cloud 2.0 has an all new GUI as compared to the Answer Private Cloud 1.0. So you absolutely love it. Um, stay tuned for the other two videos. In the next video, we will go through all the features that we built into it. So this video was mainly about the why. Why did we go that direction? Video number two will show you all the features, how we built it in there. And the coolest thing about the video too is going to be two case studies of two of our customers where I will show you how they are using the features of the Answer Private Cloud 2.0 and what benefits they achieve with it. So don't miss it. The best way not to miss it is obviously subscribe down below and hit the bell notification. I hope you enjoyed this little video overview of the Answer Private Cloud 2.0, all about orchestration and um, Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the second video and see you in the comments.